Welcome to EMF Office Hours. This is Jim Hoffman, and this is your Monday Minutes, and we are continuing with our EMS quick study tips, and today we are discussing neurological emergencies again and seizures and epilepsy. I normally ask you and answer why this is important, and it's not just important for things like exams, but also for your patient care, and it's also great for when you're doing your documentation or you're doing your interactions with other healthcare professionals like doctors and nurses. Okay, so we'll talk about seizures and epilepsy. There are four different types of seizures. Um, the first one are the generalized seizures, where you have those tonic-clonic, violent shaking and stiffening of the muscle where they contract and relax. And also, these are called grand mal seizures, and they can last between uh, two and five minutes. We have our focal motor seizures, and those are simple partial seizures lasting about uh, one to two minutes. These can actually uh, kind of march along or spread to the point where they become grand mal seizures. Um, we have behavioral seizures, and those, those are brief absence, com complex or partial type seizures. Uh, in children, these are also called uh, petite mal seizures. And then we have our status epilepticus or statep, and those are a series of seizures that are back to back where the patient does not regain consciousness. There's no um, wakefulness, no period of awakening or post ectal period with these. So, what are some of the secondary causes of seizures? Well, you have infection like meningitis or encephalitis, uh, fever, um, trauma can be something that would cause a seizure. Uh, we have things like stroke, uh, changes in drugs or not compliant with the drugs or overdose on alcohol or drugs like tricyclic depressants. Uh, can cause it metabolic issues, uh, hypertension, or even liver and uh, kidney failure uh, could be causes for a patient to have a seizure. Some patient assessment facts and facts, we kind of use something for each one of these letters here where F stands for focus. You want to find out that the seizure was a focal motor seizure or generalized or grand mal type seizure. Um, you want to also find out the activity. You want to find out what type of movements were happening with just uh, with the, the entire body shaking, just extremities, just a gaze, uh, things like that. And color. Did, were there any color changes? You know, did the patient turn cyanotic? Did they get blue around their lips and their extremities? And you also want to find out time. How long did the seizure last? Was it one minute? Was it two minutes? Or even up to five minutes? You know, how long did the actual seizure last? Not the post state, but the actual seizure. And get some secondary information as well. The OPQRST and a sample history for the patient. Now, the patient might have a post state, and this that decreased level of consciousness. That can last about 30 minutes. Watch out for violent behavior when the patient is in their post state. Remember, they don't know what they're doing at that point. And some management tips. Oxygen, of course, nothing by mouth. Protect their airway. Don't restrain the patient if they're having an active seizure. Start an IV. Perform an EKG in transport. Consider anti-seizure meds. Things like um, uh, diazepam, lorazepam, and Versed are all the most popular drugs. Uh, but of course, follow your local protocols and what they tell you you can and can't use, and know the dosages. So I hope you've enjoyed these Monday Minutes, and uh, you can use them in your studies. Uh, be sure to contact me with minutes of your own. I'd love to go ahead and do an episode on something that you enjoy in EMS and want more information on. The email to contact me is contact at emsofficehours.com. Send me your comments, thoughts, ideas for future shows or whether you even like the ones that are being produced right now. And get in touch with me over on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and YouTube, even Instagram, mostly EMS safe there. So, guys, that's it for me. I am Jim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours in the Monday Minutes. Stay safe.